In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this super stunning freshwater pearl necklace in just under a few minutes. Let's get right into it. I began by prepping the beads that I'll be using on this string and I'm gonna go ahead and use this silk cord. This is the remainder from the previous video. So as you can see, I use the ending section that doesn't have the needle attached so now I can actually use the rest of this string with the needle attached to bead my beads on there. So first we're gonna begin by grabbing a crimp bead and use your needle to slide the crimp bead onto the silk cord and pull the crimp bead all the way to the end of the string. Then grab the needle and string it back into the crimp bead. And I like to hold the crimp bead with the string as I pull the string back around so that it stays in place. Once you've tied the string onto the crimp bead, use your crimping tool to slightly press down the crimp. Not so much to the point where it's going to snap the string, but just enough to where it's holding the string and it's not going to slip out. Use your scissors to cut off the excess string. Grab your crimp cover and slide the string into the crimp cover and pull it all the way down to the bottom to where it will meet the crimp bead. Then use your plier to close the crimp cover on top of the crimp bead and you can do a little testing method and pull on the string to make sure that it's fully secured in there and it won't slip out. Once you've done this you can go ahead and start stringing your beads in your preferred order onto the string. Once you've attached all your beads onto the silk cord, grab your crimp cover and insert it from the bottom of the crimp cover onto the silk cord and pull it all the way through to where it meets the pearl. Then grab your crimp bead and string the crimp bead onto the silk cord as well and pull it all the way down to where it meets the crimp cover. And before we close it off, Always do a two-step verification method to see that the pearls are very comfortable on the string and there's no tension because if there's tension, this could cause the necklace to snap. After you've checked if it's fluid enough, grab your silk cord and insert the tip of the silk cord back into the crimp bead. And pull the string down. And I'm bringing the crimp bead closer to the crimp cover as well. And I'm holding it there as I pull the string so that it doesn't come away from the string and you have that same section that you started with originally. Once you pull it down and made a knot around the crimp bead, go ahead and grab your ghoul and press down onto the string just enough to where it holds the crimp bead onto the string but not too much to where it snaps it. Grab your scissors and cut the excess string off. Then use your tool to close the crimp cover over on top of the crimp bead. Next you want to grab your jump rings. These are the 18 karat gold plated jump rings and they come pre-attached in order to be able to plate them. Then you wanna use your set of pliers and grab onto the last jump ring, open it up. Grab your clasp and hook the jump ring on the bottom ring of the clasp. Then hook it onto the crimp cover. Use your set of pliers to close the jump ring and when you're closing the jump ring, you want to pass the ring and then come back to where they meet. For the opposite side of the necklace, you want to do this you want to go ahead and do the same thing and open up your jump ring with your set of pliers. 
and attach it to the crimp cover and use your set of pliers to close the crimp cover up. You could even go an extra step by adding an extension chain. This looks like a jump ring, but this is actually an extension chain and the links are soldered. So when you add an extension chain to the end of the necklace, if you're selling it, it gives your customer the opportunity to hook it long or short as they need. All the products that I used in this video are located at www.athenianfashions.com linked right over here and also in the description down below I'll be including all the links for you to be able to shop all the exact products that I used in this video. All the components that are used in this video are 18 karat gold plated with electrophoresis plating on top for tarnish resistance so if quality is a concern for you you don't have to worry about these pieces tarnishing because they are plated so well to last. I paired this look with these super stunning statement gold earrings. I'll also be linking these down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a jewelry tutorial that will be posting every single week.